Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Yes, you are my king. Peace. Yes, you are the Lord of the Lord. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the King. Hey, yes, you are the King. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the King. Yes, you are the King. The king, yes, you are the Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes, you are the king. Yes, you are the king. Yes, you are the Lord. Hallelujah. We call you king. Thank you. The only one who is able to transform. Bless his holy name. Sheba kabara da bos maya. Mande basa praise the kabali One generation will declare your praise to another. Forever, O oh Lord, you are king. Thy throne, O oh Lord, is forever. Thank you. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for the power of your spirit. Thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a faithful God. Ever true to his word. This is why we are all gathered. We are not gathered before an idol. We are not gathered before an opinion or a philosophy of men. Hallelujah. We are gathered before the king the king of kings father we thank you we have come to receive we have come to learn we have come to grow we have come to be free bible says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty thank you for the power of your spirit thank you for the power of your spirit thank you for the power of your spirit Hallelujah. It's always a delight in the presence of God. Not for the formality of, of it. But we understand that every time we show up in his presence, number one, we get to experience the love, the faith, the power of the Spirit. When you stand before him, then all your fears and challenges melt away. When all things that surrounds become shadow in the light of you. That's what happens in his presence. So we are exposed to the power of his spirit. The impact and the influence of the spirit of God upon your life. 
is the one who causes the word of god to come alive in your spirit sets you above shakes you out of every excuse that men can have and places you in a position where you can rule and reign with him hallelujah that's what god is doing in this place god is separating us building us so that we can truly rule and reign with him so you will experientially rise to that realm where you are above the limitations of this system for the bible says we have been raised up together with him and we have been made to sit and so we demonstrate to creation that our concept of jesus being king is not just a religious opinion it is true that's why he called us witnesses a witness is one who validates that the claim of another is true and we were not there when jesus died we were not there when he resurrected but the spirit of god who was there lives in us and he's the one who walks in us so that although we were not there because of his ministry in us we will prove that it is true that's what makes us witnesses thank you lord thank you for your presence we give you all the glory we will never get to satisfied with your presence oh, yes, Lord. oh i sense the sweet presence of the holy spirit just lift your hands i sense the strong anointing of the spirit can you just lift your hands everybody inside and outside for a few minutes and let the glory of god i see his anointing and his power let it rain let it rain See the strong presence of God moving all over this place. Open the flood gates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. The sweet presence of the Holy Ghost. Open the flood gates of heaven. Help me worship us. Let it rain. The sweet presence of the spirit open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. The fullness of the spirit. Of his presence upon your mortal body. Let it rain. Open the floodgate. The floodgate of heaven. Let it rain. Open the floodgate. Open the floodgate of heaven. Lord gates of heaven, Open the floor the gates, gates of, of heaven. heaven. Just the voices, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain upon rain. us, let it, let it rain. 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 Open the floor gates, open the floor, open the floor gates. gates of heaven. One more time, let it rain, let it rain. Let it rain. Yeah, yeah. Open the floor gates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floor gates of heaven. Open the floor gates of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Listen to me without the holy spirit in our lives there's no transformation there is an activity of the holy spirit in you that's what makes you become supernatural 
and so when we expose ourselves in the atmosphere of the spirit we are not only changed we are empowered the kingdom life is not just a life of words he said the kingdom of god is not in words we are not talking of falling down that's not the power an empowerment comes from the word energies an energizing of your spirit man there is an ability of the spirit that is activated in you so that although you are an ordinary man you are empowered to do the things that are beyond your human capacity how shall these things be mary said he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you that's why we get the word baptism comes from the greek word baptizo to be immersed in a flood such that you are not seen again that you be immersed that's what koinonia is about intimacy that you become immersed in the fullness of the person of the holy spirit Without the Holy Spirit, there's no empowerment. Without the Holy Spirit, you'll never live the supernatural life. Without the Holy Spirit, you remain under the limitations. You try to get what you call the Word of God without the Holy Spirit, it will turn into religion. It's the Holy Spirit who makes the word spirit and life. He's the breath of God. The one who came upon Adam, dust and quicken that dust to become a living soul the bible says we are of the breed of the second adam who is not just a living soul but a quickening a life-giving spirit tell him lord change me by the power of your word and your spirit tonight go ahead and pray please do not make it a religious experience god is really changing people and you can be that person tonight Expose yourself to the atmosphere of his glory. I see miracles, signs and wonders in the glory and the power. I see miracles signs and wonders sing lord i receive lord, i receive it's an act of faith say lord i partake lord, i partake sing, lord i receive lord, i receive I the fullness receive. of your spirit i receive wisdom I receive glory. Sing, Lord, I receive the empowerment of your spirit. The glory and the beauty that comes with your presence. For the last time, Lord, I receive. and glory that comes out of a believer when the Holy Spirit not is not just when it comes to your life when the Holy Ghost is allowed to find expression there is a dimension of beauty there is a dimension of power and of glory that he brings strength for weakness audacity for timidity grace glory attributes of his presence when the spirit of god is alive in you he begins to produce the traits of the kingdom brings you to that point where there is nothing short of beauty and glory that emanates from your life and all that see you will know that there is a fragrance of his presence upon you. it's not about your age it's not about your gender it's not about your level of experience it's about his glory it's called the glory cabal the weight the manifest weight of God upon your life
turns an ordinary person into an awesome one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Inside and outside, listen. We have an assignment. We are not visionless people. We are not just church people trying to preach. Are you listening to me? We have an assignment. Every time we stand upon this pulpit, we have an assignment. A mandate given from God. The mandate is to expose your spirit man to the light and the glory of God's presence. So that you are empowered by the activity of his spirit. You are equipped by the knowledge and the revelation of the kingdom. He said, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. It's our job to bring you to a point where you don't just cram scriptures and no verses. But you come to a point where you understand the patterns of the kingdom. The Bible says he showed the nation of Israel his acts. But his ways, his principles, his methodology, he showed Moses. Whenever you lay hold of kingdom principles, you can reproduce results again and again. Hallelujah. That's why above and beyond the manifestations of the spirit. Our goal is not just to have people fall up and down. Our goal is to equip you with the revelation of God's word. The greatest asset that any man can have in this life is not just a Bible. It's the understanding. Accurate understanding of the word of God. It will empower you to rule. You don't rule by your human strength. In this realm, understanding is what leads the way. He said in all your getting, get understanding. Many of us are coming from different Christian backgrounds. Full of religion and philosophy that are only a form of godliness without the power that can cause transformation we are still under the bondages of satan oppressed by demons living in poverty and lack not knowing our assignment moving without vision and without purpose and the lord brings you to a point where the kingdom of god is redefined not just as a religion and a movement called christianity but a life life of victory a life of intimacy bringing you to a point where you understand that as we fellowship with the Holy Spirit, we have partnership with Him. You and the Spirit in partnership building the kingdom of our Father advancing the frontiers of His kingdom, becoming agents of national transformation this is our assignment Lord we brace up our spirits tonight even as your word challenges us again Bring us to that point of understanding, oh God. Deliver us from the religion of church. Deliver us from the religion and the traditions of men, the religion of Christianity. And bring us into the fullness of the life of God's glory and power in us. And cause us to be relevant in our generation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Walk up to ten people, just love them, give them a wonderful hug. Make sure you do that smiling. You're citizens of the same kingdom. You're citizens of the same kingdom. I live to praise your name, and I have no fear. Of what tomorrow brings. Can we sing this song this just one time? I live, I live to praise your name. I have no fear whatsoever. I have no fear of what tomorrow. Come on, celebrate your future, your destiny, your heritage in Christ. I live to praise your name. I have no fear whatsoever. I have no fear. Of what tomorrow brings. Turn to someone, turn to someone and prophesy. Say, I live to praise his name. I Come on. To praise your name. And I have no fear. And I have no fear. Of what tomorrow brings. For the last time, I live, I live. Jesus.
Ali, I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Because you leave. There's no fear. There's no fear. It's amazing. Listen. Listen to me. It's amazing how many people live. Do you know how destructive fear is? Hallelujah. Fear can be so destructive. Let me tell you something. There are three, there are three levels of fear that Satan uses to oppress people. This is not my message tonight. I just felt like challenging us. Listen carefully. Inside and outside. There are three levels of fear. Number one is fear from your past failure. Satan uses the fear. I was discussing this with a dear lady. The fear from your past failures. And so every time you want to move forward and the word of God challenges you to do great things for the kingdom. Every time you want to take steps of faith, the fear of your past failure, not just the fear of your past. You don't fear your past success. You only fear the past failures. And so Satan begins to tell you how many times you tried and tried again to catch fish throughout the night and nothing happened. When you conquer the fear of past failures, then you are ready to brace up for a victorious life. Hallelujah. Number two, fear that comes as a result of ignorance. There is fear that is as a result of ignorance. People say when fear knocks the door, call faith. It depends on what you call faith. Faith that is born out of religion will open the door and see fear standing. The antidote to fear that comes from ignorance is knowledge and understanding. He said in all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she shall promote thee. He said she shall bring an ornament of glory upon thy head when thou dost embrace her. Doth not wisdom cry. He said, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So there is fear that comes. How many of you have found yourself being afraid? If we are going to do it, an interview right now on scriptures and the Bible, I will be so confident. But the moment we are going to do an interview over cooking, I will start fidgeting. The same me who was confident, who was, who was very confident a while ago. You know why? Because I have not master the laws so i'm afraid of embarrassing myself before people are you listening to me there is confidence that comes from the knowledge of the word of god the operation of the principles of god many believers who do not expose themselves to the knowledge of the word and many believers live in this category hallelujah if i'm sleeping and a demon appears in my room I'll not even pray about it. I'll just keep sleeping. Knowledge that sets you free from fear. Are you listening to me? If someone looks at me today and says, Joshua Selman, I want to announce to you that you're a failure. I'll say, God bless you. Glad to know your opinion. And that ends it. There is confidence that comes from the revelation of the word of God. Are you listening to me? If someone tells me, do you know you're going to be poor in this life? No, it's too late. I'm not just trying to claim it or pray about it. It's too late. It's not too late because of Naira and Kobo. It's too late because the word of God has been engrafted in my spirit, number one. Number two, my heart is already committed to obey the principles of God. Are you following me now? That's the second level of fear. The third level of fear comes from the opinion of other people. 
It's amazing how many people are unable to live the fullness of their lives because we allow what people to think about us. What would they say? What will this person... The condition to be criticized is that you are born of a woman. Full stop. Satan is destroying people who are criticizing him. Jesus is blessing people who are still criticizing him. The condition... Listen, hear me. If you do not conquer the fear that comes from the opinion of others, you will never make headway in life. I'm preaching to somebody this night. Hallelujah. I refuse to let the opinion of others make me ashamed of believing the word of God. Someone looks at me and says, can this young guy be a Pentecostal blasting tongues? Your opinion is has no effect on me whatsoever. The future will tell whether I'm wasting my time or not. Are you listening to me? We worry too much about people and what they say. You want to come to church and you are wondering, ah, my roommates, they are gisting about something now. They are going to wonder, are you kidding? Let me tell you something. The fear of people is conquered based on the conviction you have over what you are doing. Your depth of conviction is what gives you audacity in spite of what people are saying. If somebody comes to hold my hand and say, I know you when we're growing up. I mean, you, you, you are now the preacher. I mean, that's, that's, it, it, I mean it, it doesn't even bother me. Are you listening to me? There is a depth of, he said, but I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Persuaded. Somebody comes to tell me, okay. Don't you think this Holy Spirit thing you're doing is too much? Why don't you strike a balance? Are you kidding? Or someone comes to say, are you really sure Jesus is alive? That's even the worst. Because I've seen him. I didn't just read about him in the Bible. I know he's alive. Not just because I read it in the Bible. I have seen him. That which we have seen. That which we have heard. That which our hands have handled, even of the word of life. This is what we teach. Are you listening to me? So the first encouragement tonight is that you must conquer fear. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout it like you believe it inside and outside. Amen. I conquer fear. I, conquer fear. I, refuse I refuse to fear. My God is alive. My God is alive. The word of God is true. And God will not fail me. Yes. God will not fail you. Jesus was not playing games with you when he hung on the cross. Are you listening to me? No matter how much you are playing games, he stops when blood starts coming out. Jesus was certainly not playing games on the cross. A 33 year old man hung naked upon the cross. He's not playing games. And he died to not just bring to us a life of purpose, but a life of victory. Are you listening to me? It's not just enough to live a life of purpose. You must live a life of victory. Your victory is proof that Jesus is Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tonight I'm going to be teaching. I'll teach briefly. I want us to pray. Revelations 5. I'm only challenging us tonight. I want to provoke something in your spirit, man, as we pray. Hallelujah. I started by saying it's not just enough to live the life of what? You must live the life of? There are many believers who are purpose-driven, but they are not victorious. When you are not victorious, it will frustrate your being purpose-driven. Jesus didn't just die to give us vision and give us a life of purpose. He died to bring us into victory. A victorious life. Hallelujah. And tonight very briefly I'm teaching on reigning with Christ. Reigning with Christ. To provoke us to be conscious of the fact that we are supernatural beings. Hallelujah. One of the interesting revelations, please look up. One of the interesting revelations about the four living creatures as shown in the Bible. Um, in the book of Revelations, chapter 1, and, when, and chapter 4 also, when John the Revelator began to describe the four living creatures, he said something, very briefly, just to establish what I'm sharing tonight. Number one, he said he saw 
a living creature with the face of a lion say after me a lion number two he said he saw a living creature with the face of a calf number three one of the living creatures had the face of what a man and finally had the face of a flying eagle what kind of mystery is this i hope you realize that everything around the throne is a reflection of who god is hallelujah everything that god does is an outward manifestation of all that he carries that's where we get the word glory the fullness of the essence of all that god is so when he says he desires that the knowledge of his glory covers the earth he wants people to comprehend as much multifaceted dimensions of him as they can get this is why there are six billion people moving across the earth today hallelujah everyone mandated to reveal a dimension of god's glory and with 600 or six billion people if everyone walked in purpose we will still not scratch a minute portion of all that is contained in the person called god hallelujah the face of a lion corresponds to the book of matthew reveals god as king talks about dominion his power the face of the living creature connotes the dominion the power the strength the ability of god it's an ability that comes with the knowledge of the word it's called exousia power of attorney that comes when you can stand to represent one in his capacity hallelujah so the first living creature reveals god as a mighty one hallelujah the second talks about the face of a calf and it reveals christ as the servant hallelujah it's not just enough for you to know that jesus is king you must understand that he became a servant when he walked upon the earth he walked as a servant he washed the feet of his disciples he served leaving a pattern that everyone who wants to become like him it's not just enough for you to know your right and your dominion you must embrace the spirit of a servant are you following me in fact the greatest in the kingdom according to the teachings of jesus is the one who serves the word minister is the word servant not lord as many people put it number three the face of a man jesus christ expresses his humanity jesus wept jesus was hungry jesus ate jesus was tired hallelujah he expressed his humanity that means there's nothing wrong when your humanity emerges in your journey to love god don't be ashamed of your tears bible says though weeping endures many times we teach people to strangle their humanity as proof that they are christians the bible doesn't teach that there is glory that is derived from your humanity when jesus cried eloi eloi lamak sabachthani he gave us an expression that this was a human going through that excruciating pain and so there's nothing wrong with your humanity except for the fact that without the others it is incomplete the fourth reveals the king as a divine supernatural person the face of the flying eagle corresponds to the book of john hallelujah so matthew reveals christ as king mark reveals christ as the servant the calf luke reveals christ as the man and the book of john reveals christ as the divine one it's in the book of john that three chapters were dedicated to the holy spirit 14 15 16 and he began to talk about the holy spirit the holy spirit is not discussed so much in other chapters are you listening to me and so it's not just enough to let you know that you are a servant you know we have been trashing the issue of character we have been trashing the issue of manifesting the character of the kingdom 
living by the principles of the kingdom hallelujah not bowing to Baal allowing God to lead us through the process of greatness hallelujah we have been able to establish in our lives a concept of the kingdom by now you understand that success is not about money success is about people impacting people blessing lives letting the giftings and the blessings of God in you become a blessing to others but it's not enough if we stop there are you listening to me we must provoke you to a point where you realize that you are supernatural say after me I am supernatural you are all supernatural the divine life of the spirit is at work in you do you realize that you are not if you are born again in this place you are not just living by your biological life it takes the Holy Spirit to help you believe this that you're not just living with your biological life the Bible makes us to understand that we are partakers of this divine life hallelujah first Peter chapter 1 verse 3 says according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness he said this has come through the knowledge through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue hallelujah there is a manifestation of the divine life that the believer must come into terms with because you see this biological system this social system has many ills there are sicknesses there are demons there are challenges and if all we have to show the world is that we are visionary people and purposeful people it's not enough to crown him king there must be that supernatural dimension we must demonstrate to the world that we have been raised up with Christ and that today experientially we are living and reigning with him as kings and priests so briefly I'll just be challenging us and then we pray revelations 5 thank you Jesus Adonai Lamb of God You are worthy Worthy of my praise King of kings Lord of lords Let your kingdom reign in my life Sing Adonai Adonai, 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 sing Adonai, Adonai, sing Adonai, Adonai. Can we sing it one more time? Adonai, Adonai. Lamb of God, you are worthy of my praise. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, King of kings, Lord of lords, Lord of lords. Let your kingdom reign in my life. Let your kingdom reign in my life. Sing Adonai, Adonai. Revelations 5 verse 8 And when he had taken the scroll The four living creatures and four and twenty elders Fell down before the Lamb Having every one of them harps And golden bowls full of incense Which are the prayers of the saints Let's read verse 9 together Verse 9, 1 to read and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof it says for thou was slain 
and thou has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation next verse and has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign where we shall reign where it's in your Bible it says he has redeemed us calling us out of every kindred every tongue every nation can I tell you something we represent different kingdoms different cultures different mindsets different ideologies we're coming from different parts of this country and outside of this country but the Bible says that through the shed blood of the living son of God he has called us from our different places with our culture our tradition our mindset our limitation he has called all of us and brought us into one family and from that family he has exalted us so that we become kings and priests that will reign now here in this earth i hope you understand that john saw the things that were the things that are and the things that will happen thereafter and part of his findings was that he saw that they sang a new song this was the song that they were singing in heaven they were singing melodies and saying worthy qualified is he who is worthy to open the book john Fa shared on the breaking of the seals hallelujah to open the book and unlock the seals it says for thou has redeemed the word us there is wrong it's supposed to be them because the ones singing in heaven are not the redeemed we are the ones who they did not benefit from the i hope you realize that these were the elders and the beings in heaven they were not the saints who were singing so it's supposed to be thou has redeemed them not us as is used there anyway that's just for your knowledge and understanding thou has redeemed them unto god by thy blood calling everyone through the blood of jesus i enter the holy of holies so from adamawa through the blood from lagos through the blood from plateau state through the blood are you listening to me from abuja through the blood calling everyone out of every kindred come your religion is to do this come you're coming come calling people come out of every kindred yes we we drink the blood of bulls and goats come we don't believe in early marriage just come we are we are failures in life come no no i, I will use you come 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 from every tribe every tongue every nation whether it's in the map of this country or not say after me i am called the blood speaks i hope you realize that the bible tells us that the blood speaks it speaks better things than the blood of abel the blood of abel speaks vengeance the blood of christ speaks mercy beckoning on men let me tell you what mercy is mercy is god exempting you from a punishment that you deserve grace gives you what you do not deserve mercy exempts you from what you deserve the punishment that you deserve are you following me now and so every man according to god's justice is supposed to die for his sins i hope you know that when adam sinned he died in the days of noah when they sinned what happened they died but the blood of jesus jesus christ being the veil between the inner court and the most holy place allowing the sword of men to pierce him as that veil and his blood invites men says come and you say lord i'm limited he said no my blood qualifies you mercy said no i'm not gonna let you go god bless you sit down i'm not gonna let you sleep away you don't have to be afraid hallelujah so every time 
you come from your kindred our tribes and our cultures have their limitations there are different tribes and cultures that are associated with different things are you listening to me associated with weakness with sickness with defeat with failure with all kinds of things and the blood gives us a platform and the king begins to call people out of every kindred i'm trying to give you a a drama of what was going on in heaven they said worthy 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 is he that is qualified to call men in spite of their limitations any excuse you give the blood covers let me tell you something about the blood you see two things i'll tell you two things about the blood that will encourage you as we continue number one everything that is seen through the blood is called holy anything just anything that is seen through the blood and when god was giving them a prototype of the tabernacle he told them that in the most holy faith this was the most holy place this is the instruction that the high priest would never come in without blood are you listening to me because in the most holy place there was the shibole and then the mercy seat two two cherubims that protect the holiness of god made of pure gold overlaying them is what we call the mercy seat are you listening to me now the priest because there was no light in the most holy place are you following me now the glory of god the literal shekinah of god is what gave light and so once a year in an event we call in the jew yom kippur the day of atonement where the entire nation of israel will come together and then the high priest that has been anointed to offer sacrifice on behalf of the people now according to jewish customs the lamb had to be a year old because the age of the lamb determines the validity of the atonement are you following me now and so the lamb had to be a year old without blemish and the priest would sanctify himself lest he die beholding the holiness of god and because the people are not sure whether god will accept him they would tie a chain around his leg as he marches to the most holy place because god is so holy he cannot behold iniquity and so there will be people standing in the inner court so that in an event where the high priest is not qualified by god's standard he would drop dead there immediately and they will use the chain to draw him out are you following me now and so the high priest the nation of israel would stand in fear hoping that god will accept their sacrifices through the high priest are you listening to me and then the high priest full of every kind of fear will begin to take steps into the most holy place the moment he opens the curtain before he enters the first thing that will enter is the blood i listen to me the blood is held in a a bowl and so he would enter with the blood and immediately pour the blood upon the mercy seat so that when god looks at the mercy seat because you see inside of the ark of the covenant were three things number one the ten commandments that contains the judgment of god over men and every man had fallen short of it number two the rod of aaron that bordered hallelujah symbolizing the life-giving presence of the spirit number three the, the bread a sample of the manna that fell from heaven that will not decay typifying the divine life the quality and the power of the word of god these were the three things that were in the most holy place i mean in the ark of the covenant and if the eyes of god were to look at the covenant without the blood he will see the ten commandments and everyone has broken it so god will be compelled to execute judgment otherwise he will fail to be god are you listening to me because i the love love justice and i hate wickedness so before the lord will look down the high priest will pour the blood so that when god looks he doesn't see the ten commandments again all he sees is the blood and because of that blood suddenly the shekinah of god will descend from above 
physically evidently the entire nation of israel will see the shekinah the light the glory the power of god and it will come and light up the most holy place and it's a symbol that their sins had been atoned for for one year and then the nation of israel this one time will have the opportunity to say yahweh the only time they're allowed to call the name yahweh yahweh you are glorious so glorious in your ways and when jesus showed up the bible makes us to understand that one thing to make us eternally acceptable before the father jesus had an idea and he became the lamb at the same time he became the high priest and the bible says he sacrificed himself and he took his blood when mary wanted to touch him when he resurrected said do not touch me she said rabboni do not touch me for i have not yet ascended what was his ascending to do to enter the most holy place there is a real tabernacle like that in heaven it was what moses saw that he reproduced on earth because according to the law of the spirit it is always reproduced in the earth as it is in heaven so jesus wearing his priestly robe follow me when he resurrected he stood with his blood and went into that most holy place the very throne room and went to the tabernacle and offered his blood and said this ones for every man born of a woman that washes our sins away lamb of god i worship you and listen the implication is this every time you want to approach the father the condition to approach the father let me use someone sam please come do i can anybody help me with a veil i like using this any veil or something thank you watch this this is called righteousness say after me righteousness the condition to approach the father is that you must possess this quality called righteousness the ability to stand in the father's presence without a sense of guilt without a sense of condemnation are you listening to me without a sense of sin are you listening to me from the time man fell no man and the condition is that your righteousness must equate that of jesus that's the only condition to be able to approach the father and so through the law the prophets and everyone they tried to be righteous but their righteousness was short of that of jesus are you listening to me and then jesus had this idea when he shed his blood he now said sam you can come to the father but every time sam wants to walk his kindred his tribe the tongue and where he's coming from reminds him that there are certain things that will not qualify him and then the christ says if you believe in my substitutionary sacrifice then i give you my righteousness come every time the devil wants to accuse you listen when god looks at you he doesn't just see you he sees the blood of his son upon you and that's what makes you holy you are not just holy because of a lot of religious things you are holy on account of what christ has done it is the activity of that spirit of holiness that causes you to begin to be, to reveal the out what we call the deeds of holiness because of the presence of the spirit of god are you listening to me so he calls you out of every tribe out of every kindred and when you say i'm not qualified he says no come and reign with me my blood qualifies you if you do not have this revelation you will never be able to approach the father to rule and to reign with him the basis of the believers victory is hinged on the substitutionary work of the living christ the blood that opens up the door i hope you realize that when jesus said it is finished there was a cut from the top of the veil right there you know what let me tell you something you may not have observed in your bible do you realize that many years when the ark of the covenant was captured for a second time it was captured once and with dancing and singing david took it back but a prophecy came that it will be captured the second time and it will not return 
But the religious people still preserved the veil and they lied to the people there was the Ark of the Covenant there because when it tore, they did not see anything inside. When the veil tore, they did not see any most holy place again. Jesus said, let me reveal to you the deceit of religion that brings you to a point of piety and wants you to attain righteousness a means outside of Christ. So the life of the believer is in Christ, with Christ, in Christ, with Christ. Never without him, in Christ. He is our sufficiency, in Christ. Reigning with Christ, living in Christ, hidden in Christ, above with Christ. That becomes the language of the believer on account of what Christ has done. So that, listen, listen, the implication of this is not just for you to know that the blood has paved way for you to come according to Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 I believe. It says let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. So you can come boldly without a sense of timidity. Not because of what you have done. This is what the problem with religion. We feel that we have done all of the rituals we can do. And on account of that, the Bible says our righteousness is as filthy rags. The Bible says, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hallelujah. And so he calls you. Say after me, in Christ, I am the righteousness of God. Say in Christ, I am the righteousness of God. God bless you, Sam. That means you do not need to do more to be accepted. There is nothing you will do that will make God accept you more than he has accepted you. Look up. But you will need to do more to be used by God. This is where a lot of people miss it out. To be accepted does not mean to be relevant and to be used. Are you following me now? Reigning with Christ. The first revelation is that the blood has given you access. If you are writing right, the blood of Christ gives you access to the throne. You cannot talk about reigning without a throne. The blood of Christ gives you access. Your access to ruling and reigning is not on account of what you have done. It's on account of everything Christ has done. From then on, the moment you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, He becomes your sufficiency. It is always with Christ, in Christ, with Christ, in Christ, and for Christ. In Him we live. In Him we move. In Him we have our being. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but Christ that lives in me and the life that I live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God. And he called us. And we didn't just stop at the gates. I hope you realize we did not stop at the door of the throne room. He said, still come. And feeling unqualified, he says, just come. And takes us to his very throne and says sit with me in royalty that's what makes you more than a conqueror a conqueror is one who fought the battle i follow me now you fought the battle they beat your face like you came out from a meat machine you still won you are a conqueror and then you take the present you won and stagger your way to your wife and say sweetheart you have this she's more than a conqueror that's why the church is called the bride of christ more than conquerors that's not to say we are more than christ is to say by grace he loves us so much that he has exalted us and brought us to that point of royalty it's important you understand that the blood gives us access are you listening to me and as far as the father is concerned our access does not just stop at the gates that we follow right through and sit let me tell you something about sitting a king never sits until there is victory in his territory are you listening to me when a king sits in jewish days is proof that it is finished so when jesus said it is finished he didn't put satan as a factor he said it is sure finished are you following me now there is a revelation that will give you authority in this realm and he brought you and he made you a partaker of his divine life partaker of his divine life not a partaker of his throne alone 
a partaker first peter chapter 1 verse 3 okay can we have it in the slide first peter chapter 1 verse 3 says according as his divine power second peter is it first or second second peter i'm sorry chapter 1 verse 3 according as his divine power hath given us all things not some things all things that pertain unto life and godliness how through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue the next verse says wherefore has he given us these great exceedingly great and precious promises that by this we might be partakers of his divine life having escaped the corruption through lust hallelujah and so he brings us to that point where we are partakers we are joint heirs joint heirs joint heirs let me show you what a joint heir is sweetheart come Jankpa, permit me to use Bridget for a minute. I appreciate this great woman of God. Now, listen. <laughs> I'm free. I'm free. I just spoke a language. It's none of your business. Hallelujah. Now, listen. If I own an estate, follow me. Please follow me. I need you to get a revelation of what it means to be joined heirs with Christ. If I own an estate, are you listening to me? Assuming, God forbid, this is just an example. Assuming this is one cleaner, one regular cleaner in the estate. Are you following me now? Who comes to clean maybe the bathrooms or something? And as the CEO of that estate, I suddenly come and get married to her. Now, whether she feels qualified or not, does not stop the fact that she has become the wife of the CEO of that estate. The moment we say, I do, it doesn't matter who hates her or who doesn't like her there is a present tense reality that this has become the ceo's wife are you following me now that means she's entitled to all the blessings and the rights and the benefits that follows that position it's not about what she has done it's called a positional advantage are you listening to me now she goes back to her colleagues that they used to sweep together i'm sorry I'm, I'm standing by your side. Jamfa will be a good caretaker. Hallelujah. <laughs> Listen. Together, she has a right to tell the driver, the driver who has been insulting her every day, say, please take me to the market. He can murmur, but he will still kick the car. Yeah. This is not about what he wants. It's about an instruction. Are you listening to me? In the kingdom, we do not function because of any power of ourselves. We are the bride of this king called Christ. The body that he uses to operate. So when you come and look at a door and say, that door be open. They may murmur. That's the reason why I don't have any business discussing with demons when I'm casting out demons. They say, yeah, I'll not go. Uh, it's not whether you want to or not. I give an instruction as touching a kingdom. Are you listening to me? When there's a challenge in your life, you stand and say, Satan, you are looking at me alone but let me introduce the second person to you or rather let me tell you that i'm the second person in this equation there is one who is mightier than i young gicho calls him my senior partner the one who represents the government of heaven are you listening to me whether you believe it or not there is a crown upon your head sit down thank you very much are you listening to me christ has brought it to you but now although that is a reality from god's perspective it takes knowledge through the knowledge it takes knowledge for you to begin to walk in that reality are you listening to me so in the mind of god he does not see any reason why satan should prevail over you he does not see any reason why we should be weak and beggarly under the elements of this life number one because he has given you his divine life the presence of god the holy spirit who represents the government of heaven he lives in you the holy spirit makes all the difference the life the very life of god not the type god didn't give us a type of his spirit called holy no the very spirit if that same spirit that resurrected christ is it in your bible yes. romans chapter 8 verse 11 if that same spirit i believe am i right that same spirit 
that resurrected Christ from the dead lives in not just your spirit, your mortal body. I, I have a mission to convince you tonight and bring you to that point where you realize that you are not ordinary. Nobody will preach me into believing I'm an ordinary person. Are you listening to me? No! You are not. This is not about bragging and talking. It's a reality that you did not even participate in. God brought you into that reality. And he says you are divine. So his life flows through you. His life flows all over you. The essence of the presence of God. Revealing the power, the life, the glory of God to people. Hallelujah. That you are ruling and reigning with Christ. Say after me, with Christ. That statement with Christ is the basis of your dominion in this kingdom. Because many people do things, we rule and reign with prayer. Listen. We rule and reign with confession. We rule and reign with fasting. We rule and reign with diligence, with character. As good as those things are, they are only helping you to understand the with Christ concept. In the realm of the spirit, there is only obedience to one name. Christos. The Christ. Are you listening to me? So if I fast and I pray, and I study the word of God. If I am not in Christ. Have you seen a lot of people do different activities that should bless them. Yet you cannot trace the blessing in their life. It's questionable. They are not doing it with revelation. Two people can fast. Hallelujah. Two people can fast. Let me use Manasseh. He just finished a 70 day fasting. So. Two. <laughs> you people are laughing. There are two ways to get it. Go to Juju or listen to what I'm telling you. Are you listening to me? That's why we are all not fat. How about that? <laughs> Let me use Manasseh. Come, sir. Now, listen to me. Listen. If he is fasting and as much as 70 days is, he stretches 70 days without revelation, you just performed an excellent religious exercise. A painful one for that matter and there are many listen god bless you there are many people who do vigils every day they pray every day the strength of your 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 christian exercise is revelation there are people who pray in tongues without revelation and get angry at others and say, I'm praying just like this guy is praying. There must be something this guy is doing, Jerry. We are doing the exact same thing. You blow air on your cup, your spoon, nothing falls. You are angry. You are just frowning at everybody. <laughs> Takes revelation. I am every time, let me tell you something. Every time I stand to minister to a sick body. Humanly speaking, you look at this sick body. There is cancer. Are you following me now? There is no human way. Or there's need for a new heart. How in the world is a new heart going to come? From your head? Are you following me now? But every time I stand, suddenly, the Lord does this every time. And when he does it, I feel the presence of God. Suddenly, when I stand, when there is any sense of discouragement, suddenly the Lord shows me in a split second the vision of the cross. He just reminds me, son, with Christ. The moment he says that the anointing comes upon me, and then I can tell the person, these hands I'm laying, they are the hands of two people. First, of the one seated upon the throne. Number two, the vessel he's using. On account of this, I command a new heart. Or I command cancer to die. Or I come, everything I do in life, I do it with partnership. The concept of partnership is a revelation that the believer must know. That's the reason why you can't destroy me. It's not pride. You know how many meetings we have gone to. Only God knows how many poisons. We eat everything they give us. Imagine somebody like me who knock everything. They will just give you, collect and put in your mouth. It's none of us that has for one night, as far as I know, roll on the bed and say, ah. 
There's no time for that. We walk ourselves from day to night. There are times that almost two or three days stretch. No sleep. And I'm not exaggerating what I'm saying. I'm not saying you should practice that. We're not just doing a purposeless staying awake so that you would stand and you put pins on your eyes and say, I must do it. Nah, that's religion. Lie down and sleep. And God rested. You must rest. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I'm just provoking you. This is just a charge with Christ. With Christ. With Christ. You're writing a book, no ideas, with Christ. I'm reigning with Christ. I tap from his authority. I'm not alone with Christ. We're doing this ministry with Christ. We are blessing you with Christ. You are watching one person, but there's the activity of the Spirit of God. He's coming to you and causing the world to come alive in your spirit. That's what we cannot do. We can recite nice poems on stage that cannot bring transformation. That's the reason why I can be minding my business over there. And someone is standing peacefully and the next thing you find people blowing air for you. What happened? Partnership. The Holy Spirit is trusting and blessing people. Causing the world to prosper in your spirit. And that's how I rule and reign. Let me tell you, I have zero tolerance for nonsense in my life. Zero tolerance. Hallelujah. I don't take failure as a friend. I don't entertain discouragement with Christ. I don't see limitations in my life. I repented from seeing limitations a long time ago. I don't see limitations. The only thing that limits me is the principles of the kingdom. That there is a time for everything. There is nothing. You are ruling and reigning with Christ. You come to that point where the word of God is in your mouth. And when you speak, things will happen as though Christ himself spoke because you are with him rise up and walk will keep embarrassing you until the day you say it with christ the, um, the sons of skiva thought he was just rise up and walk say we adjure you and then they close to make a name for themselves and the demon said every time i look at people i see partnership you are lonely i didn't see jesus walking alone i didn't see paul walking alone i see all of you alone one with the holy spirit is an awesome wonder say after me i am seated with christ far above sickness next week is our miracle service it'll be another opportunity i love it so much i love times that demonstrate the superiority and the authority of the kingdom you must have zero tolerance for anything that is not in heaven in your life can i tell you something it doesn't matter how many times you go to the hospital don't be discouraged but don't tolerate it are you listening to me if you must take the panadol take the panadol with a revelation and say look i'm not just taking this because i'm weak i'm accepting the fact that i'm a student in the school of the spirit give me time i may take three steps and start sinking a day will come my shadows will heal the sick So do not be discouraged every time we talk about this issue of sickness people just shrink away and say ah you are touching this one now I've been so no 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 there must be a dissatisfaction there is nothing i touch that doesn't get blessed i have programmed my mind to believe that i'm a blessing if i sit on this chair and you sit on it something good must happen to you it's not it's not a it's not ritual if i don't bless you the holy spirit will bless you that's why I can never be a failure. As a person, if I fail, there is one that covers me. It's called Paracletus. Truly, the believer is an unbeatable person. That's why when you fall, there's no room to say my trouser is dirty. Stand up and keep moving. One who reigns with Christ refuses to see limitations in your life. There's poverty ravaging your family. You challenge yourself and say, In Christ, in Christ, I am coming. In Christ, ideas are coming. You are limited in many areas in your life. In Christ, in Christ, in Christ, I reign with Christ. I have been called out of the limitation. People say in your village, nobody builds a house. 
not without Christ, yes. Confession without Christ is useless. Fasting without Christ is useless. Church without Christ is useless. But in Christ and with Christ, all things are possible. And people say when you get to age 30 or 35, there's a plague of death that kills you. In Christ. You begin, the Bible says you are hidden with Christ. And Christ in God. There's a revelation that sets you free. Do you not realize that it's a risk for us to be ministers of the gospel and then moving without some kind of security things? We don't hide our numbers from them. There was a time they were saying they call one MTN something that you call and then you go mad. In my mind I say, oh God, I pray. I always pray the prayer of Jesus. That runaway prayer is not the prayer of Jesus. Jesus said, I pray that you don't take them out. Stay there and prove that I'm victorious. You call me and heaven is saying hello through the phone. This is my mindset. I'm telling you this is my mindset. Now I know that many of us can feel spooky and religious about what I'm saying. But it must crystallize in your spirit. You are supernatural. Not because you are called apostle or prophet. Because you are engrafted in Christ. So you are supernatural. Are you listening to me? You are supernatural. Every one of you. My brother, you are supernatural. Stand up. As, as much you are supernatural. You are not ordinary. You are supernatural. Stop being afraid of the business that you are doing. You started it. Shut it down because you are afraid. You are supernatural. Hallelujah. You are absolutely supernatural. The life of God is in you. You cannot share their fears. Are you listening to me? I refuse to be afraid in this life. It's an audacity that the word of God gives. It's not about your statue. It's not about your age. Whether or not your name is in. There is nowhere that God says I should go that I cannot go. There is nothing he says that I cannot do. Because every time God speaks, he is walking with me. And the Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following. Hallelujah. We are doing this ministry together. That's why koinonia is called intimacy and what? Partnership. Partnership with the Holy Spirit. You are a king. There is dominion upon you. Your words are powerful. Are you listening to me? Every time you speak, every time you hear us emphasize, don't speak rubbish. Don't command failure. Job was asked a question. He said, Job, has thou commanded thy morning? He asked Job a question. He said, Job, have you commanded your morning? And have you commanded the constellations to line up? Many of us walk into our lives and hope that in the by and by, things will change. I refuse to be silent. I reign. I reign. I command my morning. There is dominion and there is authority. That's the reason why if I prophesy to you that you are blessed. Listen, let me tell you, you are blessed. Because when I say you are blessed, I put in motion the power and the ability of the one who is in partnership with me do you realize you are not ordinary all those cats crying and things disturbing your room when you enter a throne there is a whole throne in that room carry that mindset satan does not have a right to wake me from sleep there are only two reasons why i don't sleep one because i'm thinking or i'm planning I don't spend none of us spend more than 10 minutes to sleep we walk ourselves to tiredness when we lie down we bless the lord i don't pray that fearful prayer oh god if it's your will that i see tomorrow are you joking there is work to be done i'm aware that not many people are yielded to god so i'm valuable Are you listening to me? We are going to pray, but I'm challenging you. There is a mindset 
I am reigning with Christ. No limitations. I am reigning with Christ. When I speak, I speak on behalf of the government of heaven. When I bless, I bless on behalf of heaven. You need to carry, you have been blessing people from your power and might. You have not been doing it with Christ. The language tonight is with Christ. He walks through me. He talks through me. I may be ordinary, but he lives through me. When I look at people, he's through me. When I bless you, he's touching you. When I speak to you, he's speaking to you. With Christ. I reign with Christ. I do business with Christ. I do ministry with Christ. I bless people with Christ. I can never be short of ideas. I'm with Christ. I refuse to be under. If you see me under today, give me time. I'm coming because I'm with Christ. Am I challenging you? And you get up and lock yourself and say, I have been called out of my tribe. Yes, nobody has ever walked in the embassy in your village. You are with Christ. Let every limitation be broken. We all came from places that are not celebrated. I am reigning, seated with Christ. It's no limitation. You came here from your various homes. Not because of jazz. Because of the authority. The compelling power. That the partnership of Christ brings in your life. And now that you know you are a king. You begin to decree. And legislate on behalf of heaven. You don't just speak as an ordinary person. See. I'm not talking about the fact that someone comes and just touches your head and you slap the person and say, do you know I'm a king? That's foolishness. That's not spiritual maturity. Foolishness. Not teaching you to just stand and brag and make noise. But I'm telling you that there is a revelation in you. I can never have lost that ability to pity myself. No, sir. It's impossible. I'm telling you, it's impossible. To sit down and pity myself and say, Ah, God, I wish I were like Aaron. What? What wish would you have again? You are in partnership with the king. I'm seated with Christ. All authority in heaven and the earth was vested in Christ. And I occupy that office with him in glory. I'm above sickness. I say it, I'm above failure. I'm above limitation. Demons are not my problem. I know that disobedience is my greatest obstacle. I have no regard whatsoever for Satan. I'm telling you. Ask him. I have no regard whatsoever for him. Zero tolerance. You must. Many of us have this nice way of negotiating with Satan. Can you leave me for two days and then come back again? We have never come back from a crusade and then hold two weeks marathon training, preservation prayer. In fact, we just, those of you who have followed us for crusades, we just and play and sleep as we are coming back. You really think if Satan had the power to kill you, he would not? I've always said this. When a demon is hitting your zinc or making noise, you know, ladies, all these things, tell the demon why don't you come what's the disturbance for smith wigglesworth came out and saw a demon rocking a chair in his house a physical demon he wiped sleep and came out and when he saw the chair he looked he said so is you he turned back and went to sleep i'm, I'm not i'm not faking it it's true john g lake understanding that he's a king with christ no disease or sickness could touch him. Spokane was, was said to be the, the healthiest city in the whole world. E.W. Kenyon was a man who was so angry, nobody died less than 70 in his church. He would look at a bone that is cracked with his eyes and it would start cracking back and the person would jack up. These are not, their books are there, go and read it. Men who walked with Christ. There was a monk who they were trying to put wood in the church and the wood was short he held it and completed it yeah. 
with Christ that you rule and reign can I tell you something as we round up somebody may be asking me and said if I'm with Christ why do I look weak and beggarly why do I look oppressed let me tell you Galatians chapter 4 quickly first let's go to Job 5 quickly the book of Job and let me tell you how God speaks thank you Lord Jesus tonight is an admonition I'm angry my spirit sorry Job judges judges 6 verse 5 Because we are going to pray listen this is the season where you will reign without limitation there is great grace and god wants to produce glory out of your life you cannot bless people when you are still suffering what they are suffering i exempt myself verse 11 and there came an angel of the lord and sat under an oak which was in offer and pertained to joash the abbey's right and his son Gideon threshed wheat by the press to hide from the Midianites. Now this was Gideon. Because of the oppression that had happened to them, the Midianites. Gideon was the least in his father's house. And his tribe was the least. The Bible says he was hiding to secretly thresh something. Because every time they threshed it, they had some bullies who would come. Are you listening to me? They would come and bully them. Just like Satan does to all of us. Let me tell you, I was so oppressed by Satan for a long time in my life. Every time I sleep, I've shared my story. Demons, I literally have visions of demons walking to my room. And they oppress me. So once it's evening, I keep smiling, but people don't know what is going on. And one day, light came into my spirit. That I'm seated with Christ. Above, not below above above hallelujah i i i was staying in area bz i ran to area bz i ran to area bz and i stood outside near my bq and i shouted i said that demon that comes to oppress me i invite you this night that's what i said if demons are disturbing you just tell them to come and pay us a visit have a pleasant experience ah George don't talk like that oh, we have seen men of God that have spoken like this and demons dealt with them I don't know what they believed but I know I'm sitting with Christ I had a dream let's continue and the angel of the Lord appeared to him now Gideon was hiding I follow me now but hear what the angel I, I hope you understand that word angel is the lord himself and said the lord is with thee thou what Mighty man. thou what Mighty man. god does not call you by your past or present he calls you based on how he sees you he called things seeing a man who is hiding he calls him a mighty man because he has seen the end of his life that this guy is a warrior so every time you dream you see yourself conquering territories and you wake up and you are afraid and god says when will you begin to call yourself what i'm calling you we have called ourselves what our villages have called us i refuse to be named after my past i refuse to be named after my limitation i bear the name that symbolizes my authority and victory in christ am i challenging you tonight because we are going to pray he said oh mighty man of velo one more verse verse 14 and the lord looked upon him and said go in this so he had might although he was hiding and the bible tells us in ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 that it is according to the power that might that is in us it's always according to that might you are anointed are you listening to me let me let me walk up to some people behind and challenge them those who never feel that they are anointed sister you are more than anointed are you listening to me you are more than anointed are you listening to me 
I'm very serious. I'm not just trying to preach. You are really anointed. You must have this revelation. Don't just stand and think these are the anointed men. No. You are not anointed because hands were laid on you. You are anointed every time you come into partnership with the Spirit. Hallelujah. And you are above. You are above. Do not allow the devil. If you allow Satan, he will spit out your bones. He will wreck your life. Refuse it. You must stand and legislate. Hear me inside and outside. The Lord is challenging us tonight. I see a mystery under the sun. Servants ride on horses while princes are walking afoot. But that we need to change it. I'm not alone. I am with Christ. Rise up on your feet. Seated with Christ. Reigning with Christ. With his blood he paid the price. Paid the price to bring us to that point of authority. Don't wait until you get into ministry. Challenge that sickness with Christ. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. I am not a failure, Professor. I can never be a failure. I refuse to be weak and beggarly. I want everybody to pray. This is not a prayer for men of God. Make a Tobaya inside and outside. Prophesy. I reign in this life. I've been called out. Called out of every limitation. I've been called out by the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray. Declare. I am anointed. Say it. I am anointed. Say it. Declare. I am anointed. The Holy Ghost lives inside of me. I can heal the sick. I can cast out devils. My words are powerful. Producing results. I like you to pray. I can effect changes in my life. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Come on, pray in the spirit. We have been called out of every tribe, every tongue, every nation. I'm anointed. Above failure, above limitation. Come on, pray. It doesn't matter what you are seeing. It doesn't matter what you are seeing. You are a king, seated with Christ, ready with Christ over your finances, over your health. With Christ. With Christ, with Christ, oh hallelujah, I'm unlimited, in the name of Jesus, I'm unlimited, by the power of the Holy Ghost, He lives in me, the Holy Ghost lives in me, come on pray, I have power with God, I have power with God, I am a blessing. Ah. Professor, I pray. They go pra seca paria. Ran de kete bo shekete ya. En cross ke bariyanaba. I receive and I walk in the fullness of all the blessings that are associated with ready with Christ. Divine health, prosperity, joy, peace, authority, favor grace glory and prosperous i am blessed i am well favored in christ
Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Over your family. Declare. Over your family. Declare. Over your finances. Declare. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I like you to repeat it. I have no fear. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I have no fear. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Until it enters your spirit, prophesy. No fear, no fear. Prophesy. Of what tomorrow? Of no fear. Prophesy. gentle like a dove bold as a lion I refuse to fear not failure not limitation I am a king prophesy to yourself say I'm royalty I like a lady who came out and said I'm a princess no inferiority no inferiority no complex let it die tonight let inferiority die. Let every complex die tonight. I am the best that I can be. I am the best that I can be. Hallelujah. The best that I can be. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Hear me. Can I tell you something? When you walk in this consciousness, Satan will be far from you. No matter how a madman is, he doesn't enter fire. No matter how mad, people say he doesn't know, he will not know whether it's five naira or ten naira. Set fire and see if you will come and enter it. No matter how mad he claims to be, he knows what fire is. The Bible says he maketh his angels win spirit and his ministers flames of fire can i tell you something refuse to allow the things that you see govern you after, after if i die of sickness today the last word that will come out of my mouth is by his stripes i am here i believe the word of god more than the result it will produce in my life are you listening to me hold the hands of somebody pair yourselves into two we're going to take the last prayer point now take it seriously this is not the time to just be nice and try to check your wevon we are going to pray listen listen you are going to prophesy are you listening to me take it seriously some of you are just smiling hold the hands of somebody hallelujah we are going to prophesy you are going to speak now that you know you are anointed inside outside the holy ghost is there call the person blessed use your kingly authority come on saints of god kings priests command their morning cause the stars the constellations to align for their favor and the stars fought for deborah and the stars fought for deborah we command nature we command the elements both in the realm of the spirit and in this realm to align in your favor bringing you victory bringing you grace 
prophesy make sure you are speaking you are blessed you are the head you are not the tail you are above you are not beneath death is far from your life sickness is far from your life poverty is far from your life whatever you touch is blessed whatever you touch is blessed blessings on your finances on your spiritual life your ears are open to hear the voice of the spirit your eyes are open to see realities in the realm of the spirit every inferiority dies in your life you are rising higher higher you are walking in favor you are walking in glory prophesy speak over your neighbor and watch the power of the authority of Christ in you at work whoever you bless is blessed whoever you speak upon is blessed come on tell him you are blessed you are blessed 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 beyond the curse break sickness from their lives break sickness from their lives break the bondage of sickness the bondage of poverty the bondage of failure you do it don't wait for a man of god you are anointed do it do it hallelujah hallelujah say after me i declare that i am great inferiority dies from my life i refuse to be inferior i am above say it one more time i'm above say i am anointed i'm seated with christ i am royalty I refuse sickness I refuse poverty I refuse failure I embrace the glory of God I embrace the grace of God I am one with Christ I am victorious in this life I see no limitations I am victorious one more time I am victorious Give God a big shout of praise. Hallelujah. So, go back to your job. Go back to your class. Go back. Are you listening to me? Go back to your family members. Go back to your roommates. Go back to your class members. Go everywhere and tell them a message the message is that with christ you are above that's the message with christ you are above listen it's an assignment throughout this week he must be your confession when you are walking walk conscious of the fact that you are with christ And whatever was not permitted to be found in the life of the living Christ refuse it reject it people may criticize you reject it they will not be there to sympathize with you reject it don't wait for somebody to do it for you there are people you'll be inviting to come for miracle service there are some of them that the moment you call them the Lord will give you a word of knowledge about their case don't sit down there and say hey am I qualified mercy qualifies you lay hands on the person and say thou devil and end comes whether they call you pastor or pastor's wife that's none of your business when they call you at home and say the landlord is coming to kick us out next week i like to say all right all i need you to do at home is cheer up 
you shut down your phone and say lord are you not called the father of spirits every man's spirit is in your care there are rich spirits on the earth i call them to my family it's called the father of spirits the bible says how god anointed jesus not to wear suits and raise money he went about there was business to be done i assure you tonight whatever force followed you here will bow tonight listen another thing i want to stress is this please look up i need to answer this question once and for all do believers get possessed do, don't they get possessed and all of that now listen to me i explained to you the difference between the spirit and the body now i've had a lot of people preach in different ministries and churches i love them but i don't love their ignorance hallelujah because so many people have preached and i've said all of these things you don't worry there's nothing like i mean setting people free from all of this just allow people when you give them the word they will grow by themselves let me tell you something let me tell you something look up how many of you believe jesus died to give you the blessings of the kingdom how many of you know although that is a reality there are principles you follow to make it real in your life so also although jesus had conquered satan satan will not live by himself until you command him to go psalm 66 verse 3 how awe inspiring are your ways oh lord he said through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves through the greatness of thy power Will thy enemies submit themselves? There are many believers who are born again. Now watch this. I want to tell you how Satan brings havoc to certain people. Quickly, Isaiah. To the way it used to be Before your presence came and changed me Isaiah 49 I won't go back Verse 29 to the way I used to be before your presence. Verse 24, sorry. Isaiah 49, verse 24. Everyone read. One, two, read. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? This is a question. Or the what? Hold on. It didn't say the captive. He used an interesting word. What was the word? Lawful, legal, legitimate. This is a question a prophet of God is asking. He says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive be delivered? 25. He said, But thus saith the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with you, and I will save your children. 26. 26. And I will feed them that oppress you with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I am the Lord thy God, thy Savior, thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. 27. Okay. Praise God. Many scriptures are in my head. But did you get the picture now? Shall the lawful captives. Hold on. Who is a lawful captives? Brothers and sisters, look at me and let me teach you something that will set you free tonight. Are you listening to me? Now, I'm not a preacher of deliverance or Satan or curses and all of this. But I need you to know. I read something interesting in the Bible. He said, as for me and who? Say it. As for me and who? They didn't call every member of the house to ask him, are you interested in following God? No. Are you interested in following God? Somebody represented the family and said, on behalf of myself and every man that is under my covering, we will serve the Lord. That means somebody can stand and say, on behalf of myself and whoever is under my covenant, I would, I would, I would sacrifice to this devil. Hold on. You can get born again. Your salvation is personal, not territorial. It's personal, not territorial. So although you are born again, you are filled with the Holy Spirit. On legal grounds, certain spirits have been committed to find expression. And in the realm of the spirit, everything happens on legal grounds.
Hallelujah. This is why, although people are born again, certain territories are associated with certain demonic manifestations. Hallelujah. When you say you come from Kogi, people just say, ah, temperous people. When you come from Kaduna, they say, all these people, they are men. Don't do this. When you come from this, they say, ah, these people drink. Why do they associate territories with habits? The demons in the man in Gadara. Gadara was the name of a city. And that man was the, the, a place of residence for those demons. They would go and oppress people and come back to the man. That's why he stayed in caves alone. Because there were already two men inside that cave. A legion. Hallelujah. When Jesus was about to come, they knew and they began to react. They were causing the boy's terror storm. And when Jesus calmed the sea, nobody gave the man information that Jesus was coming. But as soon as Jesus got to the other side, the madman was the first. Together with the legions of demons under that territory, they came to negotiate. And say, Jesus Christ, we are pleading with you. Just, um, we have stayed in this territory for long. And even though you cast us out of the man, let's remain in the territory. So you see a man and a woman, lovely people, they get married. And another thing I need to tell you about demons is, demons can pacify themselves in the soul of a man for years and decades until the time of manifestation oh that is possible so your mother marries your father and she sees someone else and say this is not the man i married hallelujah and your mother begins to gist you and say when we're going out your daddy loved me he used to carry me even in public i asked him i said wouldn't you be ashamed he said for you what can i not do but now now the way you know that he's there with his wife is you hear a slap. Ah, 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 come and help me. And you see the man fuming. And then later he will calm down as if he's not the one. To the way it used to be before your presence. So you see a man of God who is anointed, raising crutches. But when he gets angry, he can kill you with his temper. He's anointed. He's born again. But there are lawful captives. It takes authority in the spirit. It takes, listen, this one is not demon possession. Because you are born again. A believer cannot be possessed. However, you can be influenced from the realm of your mind and soul. You can be influenced such that although you are born again, you are seeing yourself carrying out the agenda of another. Ask Paul. Paul said with my body, my spirit I serve God, but in my body I see another law working. So that the things I want to do, this is the apostle speaking. I don't find myself doing it. The things I don't want to do. There are many people who are, there are men of God suffering from lust and masturbation and all. They can't help it. They are married. They thought the remedy was marriage. They slept with their wife every day. They are still not satisfied. It's a spirit. 98% of issues of barrenness, I tell you the truth, under God. It doesn't matter what form it appeared in. Is the manifestation of these demons and these devils. Why? See, we come from an African culture. Don't compare us with the United States. They are about 250 years old. A generation paid the price. They had founding fathers who entered covenants on behalf of the land. So, although they are perverse now, they are still lawfully blessed. Are you seeing it? Individually, they are perverting God. But on account of the legal access that was given to God on behalf of that territory, they still live. What did we inherit? Help me, what did we inherit in Africa? What did your grandfathers do before they died? They left us with all kinds of demonic things. And hear me, the Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. Hold on. This is where a lot of people just say, yes, I claim it, but look at their lives. Look at their lives. We are not honest and open to confront things in churches because no man wants to be associated with anything messy. You just want to be posh and nice. Unfortunately, 
let me tell you if we continue like this the devil will eat up God's people and they will not know what is the cause hallelujah sicknesses you cannot explain you get up and they say you are SS I don't believe all those things first and foremost I honestly don't believe them I believe in medical people I believe that if we get to heaven there will be a special section where God will bless doctors one of our ladies in worship team gave birth on Wednesday hallelujah we're very happy she gave birth to a bouncing baby boy like the Hebrew women. So I went there to go and pray for the child. When I got to the labor, they sin. Ah! I said, God will punish every child that insults his mother. <laughs> Hallelujah. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I thought it was blanket. They said, that's the baby. I said, where? Hallelujah. I told myself I was going to be free from all of these things. My neighbor had been oppressed. This happened weeks ago. Oppressed with all kinds of things. And one day I got angry. I called her. I said, come. Immediately she stepped into my room. I was looking at her. Suddenly, I now saw the spirit. You see, light is a dangerous thing in the spirit. Suddenly the woman began to manifest and say all kinds of things. And now I prayed for her and that was it. The very next day, her brother from London called and said, I cannot tell what is wrong. I can't sleep. Come and take to so amount. Start business. Book flight for her to and fro. Do you know the devil is behind the predicaments of many families? But we laugh about it. We come to church. By this seed. I provoke the heavens. Wonderful. But if that's all you are going to do, I assure you, there's real trouble waiting. I know many people will not like me. It's not today. I've, I've had, I've, I'm tired of all of these things. But let me tell you the truth. You see, I vow that I must teach God's people the truth and set them free. I pray for people every day. Every day. This is not something I read in Bible college. This is a pragmatic experience. I have prayed for preachers and men of God, tongue-talking, filled with the Holy Ghost. A great man of God came to introduce his fiancée to me. When they came, happily he came and I was just praying for him that God would bless him. The next thing, wonderful, lovely lady. Just prayed for her and there, the demons began to shout. Say, why have you come to disturb us? called my name Joshua Selman I said that's right Jesus I know Paul I know add me to that list you better do so come on now if your life does not threaten darkness you are not born again hallelujah and I prayed for the lady and the demon spirit was shouting and saying the plan was to keep quiet until they put that ring and they get married. Then they will evolve. He said, well, that's your cup of tea. Please, go out. See, demon spirits don't just leave. 90% of the people I pray for, you hear the demon spirit say she is mine, or he is mine, or they are mine. Lawful captives. They are trying to speak scripture to you. But then you let them know that this is Good Friday. Come on. This was the Friday Jesus said it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. I believe it. Satan will not just live until you let him live. When the spirit that is sponsoring that growth or that cancer is taken away, it will die. Simple and straight. When the spirit holding that womb gives way, it's just that many people are not humble enough, especially for women of God. It takes a lot of humility, you see. When I saw that there was something wrong in my life, I didn't keep quiet and say, great man of God, uh -uh. 
I told myself, Satan, you've had enough. Hallelujah. One day I heard that my sister carried axe and followed my brother. I said, no way. What did I say? Say it again. No way. And then you do something about it. Because that's how one day wife will carry axe. You say, I've been watching you. A nice and soft lady. You even gave her a name because she's soft. Men of God like healing. Oh, just be healed. And then people fall down. The fact that someone fell down did not mean that he got healed. It's just that many people cannot talk. Because if you talk, they say, where is your faith? Look, let me tell you something. Faith is not foolishness. The end of faith is manifestation. They've been praying for you for five years. Nothing has happened. The people say, just believe things are working. You better find out what is wrong. You are kicking your car for one week. It didn't on. You say, this car you are on. Go and call the mechanic. Something's wrong with that car. And, and have sense enough to fix the car. And don't delay your life. It is an act of faith to go and call the mechanic. Because you are tired of the condition of that car. If I didn't do anything about my life, I don't know what would have happened. Many of you are here. Your families are nice people. Many people who are prayed for here, sometimes they don't even know. I wish we had time. I would have ministered to everybody one by one, but miracle services cannot afford that. Our time is very short. Nobody's married in your family. All the sisters, no marriage. They are fine, they are virtuous. All the things we've taught, they have it. A lady came one time to come and see me for prayers. When I had the lady talking, suddenly I began to sense the power of God leaving my body. I knew something was wrong. I told her, all right, my dear, come. As soon as she came, a beautiful lady opens the door. The next thing I saw, an old woman of maybe about 150 years entering. That's what I saw. She sat down and I just calmed down. I was saying, God, what is all this nonsense now? And the lady was talking to me and crying from one relationship to the other. Some, even as far as going to do introduction, they've done everything. God will just say, I'm not doing. Why? Don't ask me questions. I'm not doing. Then what happened? When they tell us, we say, provoke with a seed. And the demons help you hold the seed. Now, I believe in the place of seed faith. I believe it. Maybe we'll do it this night. I believe it. Hallelujah. A miracle happened in CGC. There's a man that teaches, I think he gave testimony one day. The wife, the baby was fine. Normal. The next thing they said, I don't know the name of all these ladies things. I thank God I don't know it. They just said something is wrong, Sean, that um, if they don't handle it well, whatever, these things will not go well. That's all I know. But I know Jesus was doing good. So if I'm representing him, I should do good. I told the man, I said, Wes, call your phone. Let's speak to that baby. You can't be stubborn from the womb. The Bible says John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Behave! Behave. You are not born yet. You started giving your family members a headache. And I spoke to that child. I said, turn to your normal position and come out the way God ordained a child to come out. This is not man of God. This is kingdom authority. Displayed with understanding. Let me tell you how you will know that there are legal operations of demons in your life. When you have prayed about certain things and fasted about it, come as a family and prayed. There are some people that have prayed dry, dry. A lady is praying against lust. She's on seven days dry fasting. The sixth day she's sleeping with somebody. You need help. Are you listening to me? And the Bible says, then he gave gifts to the body. You see why some people are called gifts? They are not just called gifts because of bragging. 
That's why God will punish any man of God. He gave an anointing and he's just using it to do every kind of merchandise. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Before your presence came and changed me. Let's round up quickly. So what is our mandate? Luke 10, 19. I love miracle services, I'm telling you. Luke 10, 19. Are you there? Let's read. One to read. Behold, hold on. See, conceive this as a reality in your spirit. Settle it that this is not a lie from God. Behold, I give unto you to tread upon serpents. That's what many of you see in your dreams. There is a reason God said to tread upon serpents. And scorpions. And over how many? How many? All the power of the enemy. He says, and nothing. That's why I cast out devils and sleep like a baby. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. This is another wrong, erroneous teaching that people teach. They say, man of God, when you pray, have some reinforcement. Wake up by 12 o'clock. Please go and sleep, for God's sake. If you had enough authority to cast out the devils, what suddenly happened to the authority? This is fear. Another teaching again is this. Look up, please. I now told you, the concept of calling your father or your mother or your brothers and sisters witches is because of men of God. Are you listening to me? And because of erroneous teachings, these men of God or these prophets, they see from the realm of the spirit, these demonic manifestations I'm talking about, either as a result of legal stronghold, the next thing, they say, young lady, your mother is a witch. Either because they saw some demonic things. The Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. The spirit of Christ does not create controversy in homes. Many prophets have come to make certain men leave their wives after three or five children. Say the only solution is to leave. And some of our parents, our families were divorced today because of a so-called revelation from prophets or deliverance people. This is wrong. The spirit of Christ brings love. Every gift that comes from God, every good and perfect gift, the Bible says, comes from above. Hallelujah. So I can look at this sister now. And see an oppression of darkness. Or sometimes, well, I don't talk to demons. Sometimes they don't just keep quiet. Hallelujah. Jesus said they cried out. And sometimes they are just shouting. Oh, it's my mother that did this. And maybe the brother or sister is here. I say, ah, mother. You go back now. Your mother says, come on, darling. How are you? You say, oh, no, no. So you are responsible for my calm down. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. While it is true that certain people can make themselves willing agents of darkness, the real battle is between spiritual wickedness. So you were sleeping and you saw your roommate in some kind of way. You just said, man, his roommate, forget to. I won't eat her food again. I won't drink her water again. I won't do anything. Who is teaching you this kind of thing? The Bible does not teach that. He said they shall drink deadly things and it shall not hurt them. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed tonight? Go and teach others. Because tonight God will do mighty things. So I give you power. Second scripture. Luke 9 verse 1. We'll hurry up. This is the major work we are doing. Those outside say praise the Lord. Everyone read. Luke 9 verse 1. One to read. Then he called his disciples together and gave them power and authority. Over who? And to? He gave them authority. I'd like to announce to you today that the Lord has given us authority. Hallelujah. Yes, he gave us authority. Say, I have authority. And Satan will leave afflictions will leave 
incurable diseases will leave and breakthrough will come in the name of Jesus one more scripture and then we are ready to pray Mark 16 verse 17 affect my life breathe on me as I look to you for life affect my life breathe on me And these signs shall not follow cynical people who are asking rubbish questions this night. Whether or not this is making sense. He said, this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall... That's the first thing you will do as a sign. In my name. See how the Bible deals ruthlessly with Satan. You are not supposed to keep talking. This is the problem I have with deliverance. Everything Satan. No, no, no. But we have a ministry to cast him out of our life. Say the enemy has done this. Can you look at your life and say the enemy has done this. I now see the enemy has done this. The enemy has done this havoc for my sister. The enemy has done this. So that you don't pray and miss. And I have good news for you. Over 2,000 years ago, exactly at this time, Jesus hung upon the cross and he made three powerful words. It is, not it was, not it will be. It is finished. I'd like you to prophesy. It is finished. Affliction is finished. Cancer is finished. HIV is finished. Demonic oppression is finished. That's what the Bible says. Listen, you must announce to principalities and powers that I'm born again. The blood of Jesus has made way. You are an illegal occupant. And by faith and the authority of the Lord, I will now enforce that which has been finished on the cross. This is the legal basis of victory. It's not just because you fasted or prayed. Fasting does not change God. It changes you. It's faith that moves God. fast and pray but your fasting doesn't do anything to God. It positions you to release your faith for results. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The legal basis is that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Not just that the blood of Cain and Abel but every other ordinance. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to the cross is passed but satan will refuse until you enforce it by the authority of the lord jesus and this is our job tonight we have not come to do any new thing this is what i want to teach you there's nothing tonight that we are doing that is new we are only going back to tap the reality from calvary and make it a present tense reality This is the Balas gospel of redemption. And one of the greatest persons that has affected my life is the general of God. I cried when he went to be with the Lord. T.L. Osborne. He was one man that demonstrated the reality of the kingdom more than any man I know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Joblessness barrenness, delay, stagnation, mental blockage, sicknesses, you name it. We now know the devil that is in charge. But the Bible says for this purpose, God organized koinonia meeting tonight. For this purpose, that he will annihilate. I vowed unto God, I said, I will never pastor or lead any ministry where there is no demonstration of the superiority of light over darkness. I won't come and teach people about the God who was and say, I remember in 2001, somebody was healed. What is he doing today? Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, the same January miracle service, the same February miracle service. I bring you good news tonight. The Lord is in the house and is here with his full authority. And how nice it is that today is Good Friday. He went about doing good on a Good Friday. He went about doing, today is not called Bad Friday. 
is called Good Friday. Rise up on your feet and let's charge ourselves in the spirit for a few minutes. Walk around in the next five minutes and begin to prophesy inside and outside. Come on. Come on, walk around and begin to declare. Satan is behind every sickness, every infirmity. Satan is behind poverty, he's behind delays. But today, by the finished work that is in the name of the Lord Jesus, there will be victory tonight. Rapa kata la basata, ma prakata prakedeba, rapata prakese prakede, rakata baladaba. Make sure you're praying. Rapo sho prakete lekoto. Hallelujah. Now listen, those of you inside and outside, we just have one minute to pray. I like you to pray like a priest. You're going to say, you're going to pray for yourself and your family, and say, Satan. Now I know you are responsible and you are going to get out of my life, my family, my finance, my marriage. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You appear as terminal disease, but you are a devil of darkness. You appear as delay, but you are a devil of darkness. You appear as barrenness, but you are a devil of darkness, joblessness. Whatever tree has not been planted by our Father, that tree will be uprooted. Pray. Say tonight is my night of deliverance. Is my night of healing. Is my night of emancipation. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Now look up, please. Everyone look up. So, through territorial influences, Satan can gain grounds over a man's life, although he's born again. The second way Satan gets to influence people is through what I call strongholds of the mind. That's why the Bible says the moment you get born again, the next assignment is to begin to renew your mind because look at me your mindset is like a door in the realm of the spirit it can allow the activities of heaven it can allow the activities of demons are you listening to me so because of wrong teachings or our society we have had mindsets that have become strongholds permanent gateways so even when you pray and minister healing and deliverance what happens the bible says when a demon leaves a man because it is now it does not have a material body to find expression it becomes uneasy after a while what happens it says since i've been legally casted let me now use the mind and it comes back to check the man he finds the house swept clean but empty you have not filled yourself with the word and it gathers seven other demons more than itself and it comes back to the man listen this is the problem I have with many deliverance houses. They don't concentrate on people getting born again. They don't concentrate on people receiving the word. They just concentrate on casting out devils. So they now cast out devils. Are you listening to me? In a lady who probably does not believe that sex before marriage is wrong. That's a mindset. It has become a stronghold. Is that correct? So the demons will leave. But her mindset will bring them back. Listen. When believers are set free, they must keep their healing. They must keep their breakthrough by doing what? Building fortification. That's why we spend three weeks teaching the word. So that when you are set free, when you are delivered, what happened? The word of God builds fortification in you. That kind of mindset deliverance is by the word. So he sends forth his word. And his word heals your mind and delivers you. It's not enough just to come for miracle service. It's important to participate in all of the services. Because as we teach what happens, you build fortification in the spirit. Then you get to a point like Jesus where Satan will come and will not find anything of himself. Then you now become a deliverer to others. He said upon Mount Zion, 
there shall be deliverance and holiness and the children of Jacob shall possess their possession but not until there is a deliverance upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and a spirit of holiness and then what happens people will begin to possess their possessions tonight Satan will return some things he stole ah because the Bible says when you catch a thief it's in Leviticus when you catch a thief he will say I'm sorry no they didn't hear I'm sorry he will restore sevenfold sevenfold is the minimum hallelujah how many of us are ready to take back some things I'm reaping the harvest God promised me take back what the devil stole from me and I rejoice today for I shall recover it all yes I rejoice Hallelujah. Now, before I begin to minister in the anointing, we're going to pray one prayer. I want you to be honest and open tonight. Listen, listen, we're a family. I truly prayed and cried and wanted you to be free. Listen, you're going to say, Lord, if there is any force of darkness at work in my mind or my life, listen, or my family, I open myself tonight. Let tonight be a separation between me and Egypt forever. I must move forward. You must humble yourself and pray. Are you listening to me? Open your mouth and pray. Everyone. Those outside, pray. The Holy Ghost is everywhere. Time up, Satan, over the lives and the destinies of people. We announce an expiry date for you, which is right now. Tonight is Good Friday. Over our lives, Jesus said it is finished. We believe it. Jesus said it is finished. Oh, hallelujah, he's really I'm excited, I'm excited Someone is walking free tonight I tell you, a door is open tonight Pray Pray Yes Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a shout of the king in this house. Come on, help me. You don't know this song. There's a great anointing working. For the spirit of the Lord is king. Spirit has go away. Now I see the angels of the living God. Please, everybody stand. Everybody stand. And when Jesus saw, oh yes, oh yes, gates will be lifted. Ancient doors, inside and outside. Let your faith reach out now. Let your faith reach out now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. We are going to shout. Just a shout. Listen. Just a shout once. My God. 
Kabata Kaya Kapra Dele Kaya Embrozata Prata Dadaba Rakata Pro Satali Bariata Dekaya Kabam Brastaya I want all the people out Ushers please be effective Listen Just one shout I like you to shout it with all your heart I tell you the truth Devils will be shaken from their foundation Are you listening to me? No power of darkness will stand The fire power That is in the name of Jesus Are you ready now? All the instruments together In the Hebrew we call this Tehillah It's a shout of praise Are you ready to shout? After the count of three One Two Three inside and outside now according to the unction and he gave us power I speak to you inside outside territorial spirit I confront you at the count of three you will go you will go I see a mighty deliverance in this row one two three go 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 Go, 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 go. Bring them out. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. All of you lift your hands. For there will be a move of the spirit outside. 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 
in the name of the Lord Jesus every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord be exposed now be exposed now be exposed the fire of the Lord outside the fire of his presence be exposed outside no demon stands every affliction go outside outside Outside, the power of God is falling. Outside, the power of God is falling. I see angels, angels, angels move across the crowd. Come out of her. Out of her now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you, fire upon you, come out of her now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let her go, 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 go out of her right now, out of her, out of her, come out, come out of her, come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her. Come out of her now. Thou foul devil. I see a snake. Out of her. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Come out of her. Affect my life. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Kabara tabaka ta. Sekete prekete kete belereba. Rekoto prekete belereba. your life come out come out come out come out of her come out now take her inside come out of her in the name of Jesus listen your destiny must open up are you listening to me I said your destiny must open up therefore every power I speak by an apostolic unction every demonic force you're going to shout Jesus once and the power of God will move across my god let your fire move are you ready those outside one two three come out come out come out come out 
Come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Bring them in. Bring this girl. Bring that ladies. Bring her, bring her. Just look, look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Come out now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at it. Hold on. Look at a girl. Look at this girl. At this age. Look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shall the captives be taken from the mighty? Come out of her. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. I bring you the powers of the kingdom. Come out. You shall stay no longer in her life. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Your time is up. Thou foul devil. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Come out right now. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out in the name of Jesus. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Fire all over this body. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water. The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for her destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me. Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on her back. Lay your hands on her back. Now I command you, come and meet me here. Quickly, come and meet me here. In the name of Jesus, leave that place and come quickly. I'm speaking to that foul spirit. Shut 
Get up right now and come. It's a time of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Since you will not come, hello, I bring you under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now come here. Holy Ghost, bring her by yourself. Show the superiority of kingdom authority. Kapadia, the pro sosoba, rabate, liver, liver, liver. Nobody should hold her. Come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. Is an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies I said come and meet me here don't stay there it's time for the lady to go someone has someone has a problem one ear you feel like there's water you practically cannot hear very well with it who is that person who is that person? One ear, you feel like there's water or something. Please, who is that inside or outside? Hurry up, come quickly. You, which of them? It will be open right now. Put your hands there. As I command that deaf and dumb spirit to go. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Go! Be healed. Mama, salvation has come for you right now. Which of the ears? This one, put your hands there. That devil is a liar. No, just put a finger inside. Go! Go! Come out! Come out of her! Come out of her right now. You are a deaf and dumb spirit. In the name of Jesus, let her go. Go! Go! I set you free. Check it. Check it. Someone check her. What do you feel? No, no, really. I'm free. Look at. My water there again. Look at. Instant miracle. Come. What happened, Mama? What? Look at me. What used to happen before? I'm not. Uh, before, I used to feel as if there is water inside. Sometimes I'll be hearing something. Uh, water inside. But now, not. Look at this. And Jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit. This is Acts of the Apostles. The Bible says Jesus is the same. Yes. This is an elderly woman. She can't come and stand before you and be telling lies. Madam, you are free forever. What's wrong with her? Both ears? She had moms. So it affected she had her what? moms on her left ear. Moms. So it affected Bond. both. Can she, she can't hear me now. She can't hear the two ears. Put your hands in her ears. Jesus, our deaf and dumb spirit, I curse you over this girl. I curse you over this life right now. of the Lord Jesus. Your reign is gone in the name of Jesus. Someone test her. There's someone. Come, sister, you. Yes, come. I'm seeing something wrong with your stomach. Lay your hands there. Look at me. Look at me. You will be free right now. Hmm? I bring you life. I bring you healing. And perfection. In the name of Jesus. Now. 
all those with any heart conditions all those with any heart conditions heart condition of whatever kind please come out quickly just leave these people in front here just leave them just shift this poop in the meat and heart condition okay your ear both of them both ears Look at me. Ah, the power of God is going to you. Come out of him now. Thou foul devil. I open your ears. Check him. Check him. Do what you couldn't do. Check him. Please let the ministers do it. Heart problem. Heart problem. Can you shift this? I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Can you just step up here, all of you? Please, quickly, quickly. I don't want you to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain. Yeah, come. Hold on, hold on. I pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist that pains you? You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You Buddhist sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet songs. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bakaparata basha te bakata frata galaya. Mambro so prete keparia. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Kapranto so prete kebaya. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. It's gone. Please help me with the mic. It's gone. Completely gone. It's gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen to you? You used to feel pains. Yes, when I came in. I was when you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that? The enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? What happened, but uh, the pain just started yesterday. Yeah, but you are not serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. A foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Who is Neka? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happened? You used to pain you. What do you mean you used to pain you? How sharp pain always. Sharp pain. Yes. How long? Is your sister? Okay, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Come out of her, devil of darkness. You're free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. Out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go! You see something forming like a growth? You must go. They call it a growth. The life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now! Your two brothers, uh, they, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no, hear well? They are ears. Okay, they are ears. Yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus, for t- ah, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. And then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is. Brother, you are not very fine, no, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and we'll start ministering to people in mass. What's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out! In the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something. Quickly. No coughing inside corner the auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. Huh? In Jesus' name. That pain leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Sister, come. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Where are you from? My state of origin, Benue. Because the same way you are dressed, that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit, but the only thing is your face is covered. Are you listening to me? What the Lord will set you free. What did you come for? I used to have a heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movements around your body? Something is moving around your body. Affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus. And set this lady free. You're free. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What's wrong with you? Anytime I get angry. Anytime you get angry. You know what's wrong with you? But you want God to help you, right? See, this lady is so desirous of help. Because I see the spirit of anger. You can carry bottle and kill somebody with it. Is that true? You want to be set free from it? Look at my eyes. I've seen you now in the spirit. Come out! Out of her! Come out of her right now. Foul spirit of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. This is a very nice girl. Oh. This is a very nice girl. But when that spirit comes, she can break this bottle and tear your head with it. You must go. 
Kaparata kaparata balata pai. Krepete keposh. I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way and build your life with the word of God. I set you free. Right now, no more anger. Look at me. You are not free yet. Just look at my eyes. In Jesus' name, you are free. Leave her. You are free. She is free. My dear, no more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart problem. Careful, careful. Come here, bring her. Bring her here. Come out now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you right now. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Now you must leave. You've tormented this girl for a long time. Out of her right now. In Jesus' name. You must go out. Your exodus out of her life. With a loud shout, I instruct you to leave now. At the count of three. One, two, three. Now, now, now. Out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I set you free. Set you free. for altar call before I finish just run and come and stand huh you you know what I'm saying right it makes sense to you huh you're not gone you must go I see you in the spirit go come out of her be silent speak no word go out What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. 
Aprateka paradata, rataka prateke, the bronze, the panda kratila, rabaka pretekete. Jesus set you free. You're free now. In Jesus' name. Leave on. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. See like claws holding this lady. Now go in peace, and I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus name. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. <laughs> My brother, like I said, what do you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started, what happened? Who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. You started by yourself. Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord sets you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. What? Hepatitis. Hepatitis. Yes, sir. B. C. C. Yes, sir. Who diagnosed it? In the hospital. You'll be free from it. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Shepa Karata Poko Sufle Teke Balata Bonda. Mabrati Kapos Kosi Behishti. Free. Jesus. Come, it's your time to go out. Oh yeah. Sir King Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. 
No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of none effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, look at my eyes. Salama, Salama, very pretty lady, wonderful lady. They shall lay hands. Now you must leave. I bring you the authority of Jesus. Go. Go now. At the count of three. Quietly let her go. You're hearing me. One. This is Good Friday. Two. <laughs> three. Or I go. Quietly. Quietly. You must leave. I've given the command. I've given the command. You will go. Out. Out you go. That's it. Bye bye. Find someone else somewhere. No, he's going. He's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. No, this lady with blue will be green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. It's a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. Say a terrible thing. Back. Whatever that means. I'm not a herbalist for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. It cannot leave until she's on her back. I said turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No. Don't worry, don't worry, just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. He's bringing everything. When she lies on her back, he's going quietly. I don't understand some of these things. We are still learning. So you lie and go. There's an angel standing close to her. That's why I told you people don't bother. Now, we're going to minister. We'll have to hurry up. If you brought somebody who is sick, please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have your water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me, look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. Mindsets. All right, that's all. Look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. Go ahead, touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now.
on Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord. Go. In Jesus' name. For how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly like eagles when you don't know the way? Are these the only sick people? Please, every other sick person, come and join them quickly. While that is happening, pass your prayer requests quickly. Outside, please pass it to the last person at the side. Let's do that quickly. All the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the sleep. Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, Sass. Please come and stand here. Get set to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer point. Swallow your pride. Listen, as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastor Sam. Hallelujah. Now we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You, come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Give her now. Go. You're free. Next. Please, quickly. Whatever is wrong with you, as hands are laid upon you, that's it. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out. Leave her. Go. Go. Set her free right now. Go. Go. You're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. What did I say? Peptic ulcer. Fire upon you right now. Quietly go. Peptic ulcer, you come. Come out of her. Come out now. You have caused a lot of delay in her life. This is out, out. You're a wicked spirit. Come out. I've seen you. Out. You said she will not marry. She wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please, quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh
your deliverance come your salvation has come it's your time to smile run and come I say run look at what she's doing But those of restoration and prosperity. You have cried. 
This lady loves the Lord, but she has suffered. You have seen, you have suffered. Aha. I'm seeing a cake, and it's a wedding cake. This is what the Lord shows me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I release you into this person. Where's the lady? I asked her to come. Where's the lady? Sister, look at me. Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say dance here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I'll find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. Go! Go! It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Request, please bring them out quickly. If you didn't write those on Facebook and all our members, please, if you cannot have it, no problem. Hold on. There are two ladies. Please don't be ashamed. Okay? The Lord asked me to call out the case. Don't be ashamed. Okay, three people. You are suffering from is a bedwetting issue. See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no okay. You are suffering from this is a serious issue. Please come. This is a serious issue. There's no hiding, and this is yeah, please. We are very serious. Because God will set you free. That's why. We're a family of faith. There's no this is miracle service. This is not a conference. It's a miracle service. Hallelujah. Please take away her back for a while. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. expose you foul spirit of darkness now but wetting stops forever it's a spirit she has a dream this is i'm seeing the dream that this lady has now she has a dream they are pouring water and she's standing there later the water becomes a bathroom and she wakes up and sees you will look and think she's an irresponsible lady some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place you like talking about people See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right when you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells and is doing wonders. Sister, I set you free in the name of Jesus. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. I'm speaking to you. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Aha! Come out of her! Now, I've seen you. Come out of her. Foul spirit. Fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, we're a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, see, out of her, what is this that you are putting in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a ban. Remove it. Take it away. Remove it. Let everybody see. I said remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out. Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out in Jesus' name right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You are a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha. Out! Come out of her right now. You are a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out! What did Kabarakata Grento Satilaka Repatarita Rabaka Batoso Pregete Rekata Pariata by the fire power of the spirit. Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. Because with this spiritual insight now, you will be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands with both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song. He said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. A good usher, so you will feel. Come out of her, out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, hold my hands. Look at your own hands shaking. What is this? Watch from today. Just look at it. This is demonic, this is nonsense. Huh? And I am come that he may have life. I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said, it is the thief that comes to steal to kill and to destroy. Please hang on because I'm going to prophesy. This is the best part of the session where I begin to speak to people. But first, let's play on this request. Sas, please can wake up. All of you stretch your hands inside and outside. Please stretch your hands on your request. seen you in the spirit. Hapa, rata, rakata, parekete ke parata posoto, rabandeke parika, ratosko petalia, regete ke teke teke de belereba, rapatosko prenda, raposko par, reteke teke telekete, rebako paratosko pa, rapaskia, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now. 
Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of her. Come out. She loves the Lord, but she will not oppress her. Come out. This, this is what has been responded. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. You must go. Oh, yes, you must. Go, I've not finished with you. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. Kaparata. Rabrete keterete. Rabaka paratapa. Babriata. I told you Satan likes bodies. They won't go. It takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. Go. Please be praying on the request. Don't let's save time. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. For with authority commanded he devils and he obeyed. At the count of three, your time of exit is come. This is Good Friday. One, two, three. Go. Jesus name Go Go In Jesus name With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Stand up. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Please, when people stand up like this, show them love, help them. Don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. Come, my dear. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in okay it's not all about deliverance there's you need grace all right we have finished with satan so you need to have something my dear god will do great things through your life you may look weak in yourself but when he overshadows you that which will be born of you will be called the holy thing hallelujah lift your hands look at me my god there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus, Rabapa Kobresh Taraba. Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus. In 
the name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemies submitted. All the requests here, and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and answer prayer. Answer prayer. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Miracles. Doors open. Miracle babies for our loved ones. Miracle marriages. Open door. Finances open. In the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now, I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. I expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. Don't miss this part. He sent forth his word. Whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life, listen, this is where God picks men into miracles, be it financial, be it whatever. I don't do these things because I'm a man of God. I do these things as I am moved by the Spirit. Whether you are inside or outside, even if no one can see you, I like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen, shout it! With all that you have. Lift your hands. Something will happen in this place right now. For he never sends us alone. He leaves us a witness. Jesus. I want to impart gifts. Anointings. Graces. Help me instrumentalists. At the count of three, I'll begin to release them in mass, everywhere, inside and outside. It's time for you to step up spiritually. I come in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Father, confirm your word. No, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out now. This is impartation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands now. Come on, Babaratata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I activate your spirit man. I activate your sense. Share in the spirit. See in the spirit. Perceive spiritual things. Babarata, Rababa, Robosha, Rekea, Reko Shata, Rabaria, Paros, Korekata, Mabeto Sodia, Rendekete Lekete. Receive it, receive it, receive it, take it, take it. Now the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. Listen. Just leave them, just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just to do it. Listen, the fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level. 
of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God, I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou power of the Holy Ghost, move, move, move. Fire, fire. Let it come like rain. Prophetic experiences. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor. Favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you in a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, favor anointing, fall, 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 Favor, favor, favor. Let it hit you. Let it hit you like tornado where you are, like a fireboat. Aparata kaba, baka brata rata. Take it, take it, take it, I want to prophesy breakthrough. 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 Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God, use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Haya. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I like you to shout, I receive just once. It will hit some of you. Shout, I receive just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, the breakthrough anointing. I command doors be open. Doors be open. Miracle jobs, marriages, barren women receive, barren women receive all kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances within the next 30 days many of you don't know what the anointing of the spirit I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman don't be foolish within the next 30 days Lord confirm your word if you have sent me let the fire come listen this is what I'm doing I pick you from where you are financially I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it for your families. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night 
I set you free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any building project that your parents are in, in the name of Jesus, within the next seven days, let the finance to continue it. I put it prophetically upon your hands. In the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Thank you. For you and for your loved ones who need jobs. I call April a month where you will experience turn around. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. I prophesy that anointing all round. For your academics, receive grace. For your academics, receive grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to excel. You are not dull. I call you brilliant. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's result. I call it excellence. Distinction. Where you made mistakes, we correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, we graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus. I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus. I command you increase. Multiply. Advance. Move forward. I break you free from habits. Any habit you have been struggling with. Any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our Father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. 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 We're rounding up. I don't do this all the time. But please, everybody, package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please, this is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to. Please, package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it for yourself, some of you for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seed. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please just play the strings for me. Many of you do not know. The, we don't neglect spiritual principles. We only put them in place. Honestly. Honestly. Hear me. If God is God and we are serving him truly, something will happen to your finances that will surprise you. Some of you are standing in for your families. You just hold on and see. I have tried this thing. It has worked. Lift it. Many of you, as you are holding it, you will see what will happen to you before you drop. Lift it up. Jesus. I didn't call myself, oh Lord, you called me. To bless your people, to lift your, please lift it. For yourself and family. 
Hold, just hold it. Just hold it. Just keep it holy. Keep it. Hold. Some of you are under financial curses for your family. Just keep it up. That's what I want to break. A sacrifice brought that curse. Let a sacrifice take it out. Go. 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 I break the curse. Go. 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 Lift it up. Go. Go. I break the curse. Go. It's a curse. It's a curse upon individuals and families. Lift it up. Make sure you package something that will touch you. I break it. It took sacrifice to bring the curse. Lord, we lift this sacrifice like that of Abel. I terminate poverty. You are a spirit. Go. Bakareka. Rekepa. Raposata. I create a sound of abundance in the spirit. I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage. Go! Go! I set them on fire. Paretaka Kaparoto Pretelika. Hallelujah. Father, these hands that are lifted. Please, even if you don't have a seed, just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it. Father, as a house in Koinonia, Lord, you cannot give me people to lead and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives. Let everyone who identifies with this ministry, I prophesy the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity, I release it upon your life right now. I release it upon your life right now. Creativity beyond your imagination. Visions of ideas. Destiny help us. For your family members. Those who need jobs, take jobs. Those who need business ideas, receive it. Those whose business are dying, I resurrect it back. I put the life of God into it. Let the dry bones come alive. I speak to this seed. Lord, this will not be the last seed they will give. But may this be the least you will give. Because of the degree of abundance. Ushers, quickly. Yeah. I wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit. All our services are powerful. It's just that the miracle service is a special service. Quickly, quickly. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. We are soon rounding up. Just hold on. Do you know part of the reasons why? Hold on. Part of the reasons why people don't wait. Except they have something serious. Do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this? Is because of demonic activities. They keep making them uncomfortable and they leave because of certain blessings listen not every man of god is out to destroy you god sends people to lift you i promise you you will never be the same hallelujah now it's not just enough to be prayed for to be healed to be released you must grow in the word i can't tell you this enough there are many of you who only come for miracle services because you want you won't grow that way you must be taught the word subject yourself to the teaching of the word the bible says i commend you to the word of his grace which is able to keep you and to give you an inheritance he said according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness how through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue the next verse says wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in this world through loss subject yourself to the word you must be taught the word you must grow 
there's no shortcut to greatness there's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of God everyone please stand up right now I'm inviting those who I don't need to do any special cajoling all those people that I told them it's time to get born again now it's your time to run out and come out here everyone who wants to give his life to Jesus Christ or you have once given your heart to the Lord and you've run and this is stand please you are not coming to me hallelujah inside and outside Jesus loves you now is the time of salvation we do not condemn you leave your seat and come if you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing no problem just come outside there are a number of you outside God is calling you leave your friend come thank you Jesus Koinonia celebrate them this is the biggest miracle come God bless you bless you sister bless you my brother don't stop God bless you you need Jesus is the fountain of life he's the one we represent here he's the one we exalt there is only one name not any man of God not Bishop Stan not Pastor Jakes not Joshua Selman Jesus and him alone I sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind Jesus is calling you Jesus is calling you thank you sister thank you sister hallelujah now look at me all of you who have come here God bless you thank you so much for coming I want you to know that you will never be the same in Jesus name this is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life now lift your right hand high above your head and say this very very loud say after me Lord Jesus is not a poem say Lord Jesus I love you I believe you died for me I surrender my heart to you because I cannot help myself today I make Jesus Lord of my life I denounce sin and Satan I declare that I'm born again the life of God is in me and Satan will go go was he praying and what, what was I saying and Satan will live my life forever in the name of Jesus come out of us she's making Jesus Lord of her life you're a foul spirit out out you're a wicked spirit go this is this is authentic born again authentic one that comes with a dramatic change many of you got born again you were laughing from the beginning to the end you don't even know what happened to you this is what they call old time religion born again the one that will leave a mark in your life you won't forget unfortunately those who talk about old time don't go far enough they mean religious born again acts of the apostles Holy Spirit come and live in me from today I am yours in the name of Jesus I'm a child of God I break free from addictions in the name of Jesus Christ amen I appreciate them look at me brothers and sisters thank you so much this is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life now I like you to just follow the ushers they will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of God. Never forget this day from today. You're going forward ever and backward never in Jesus name. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Pastor Jakes is meeting with you tomorrow by, by 5 p.m. Chapel premises. Please ushers make sure you remind them. Tomorrow 5 p.m. Hallelujah. Now if you're worshiping with us for the first time inside and outside we're out of time please i'd like you to run and come out quickly we want to bless you appreciate them thank you for coming thank you confidence is come out here you'll be the first to receive the blessing in the name of jesus come out of her she's a visitor but you must leave don't go back the same way hallelujah when we say we have a blessing we're not joking we really mean it come quickly thank you for coming
Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. This is Koinonia. Today happens to be our miracle service. We meet here every Friday. Hallelujah. I assure you, you will never be the same. The Lord will bless you and he will make you a wonder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that he will help you. I pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Father, may they step into blessings beyond their imagination. We bless you with a fresh hunger for God's presence. You will love the Lord more than anything. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with passion for the word. I command everyone under the influence of any spirit that is not of God to be free. In the name of Jesus, we open up closed doors for you. We anoint you in the name of Jesus. May you walk in paths of the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, you'll never be the same again. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. May the Lord use you mightily. In the name of Jesus, thank you so much for coming with Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.